Hi everyone, it's so good to be back here again. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yes, you guys are awesome and we appreciate you for your love, your support for all that you do right here. We do not take it for granted. And of course, this is Saffron Media and we are here to give you the most trending, exciting, reliable, authentic, hot, sizzling and most reliable happenings in Nigeria, especially in the area of politics and many more. Yes, guys, right here, something that says that um, Nigeria fighting jets went missing during uh, the fight against Boko Haram's operation. What are we not going to see in this country? Imagine even at war, some people are already trying to play some kind of funny games right there. What happened to the missing jet or what happened to the jet that it went missing out of the numbers that went to fight, even if it was brought down somehow by, you know, uh, a bomb or a strike or something. Others would have seen it, but how come that it went missing in action? What is the problem here? What is going on right here? Anyway, guys, more details about all of this will come to you shortly. But please, if you have not subscribed, please ensure you do so right away. And also give our videos a thumbs up because this is the best place to be. And we give you just as it drops. Yes, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you can get updated anytime we drop a new video. All right, guys, without further ado, right here it says that... Uh, Nigerian jet missing during Boko Haram's operation. A Nigerian Air Force Alpha jet has reportedly gone missing during a battle with Boko Haram insurgents in Borno State. It was gathered that the fighter jet went missing on Wednesday evening. There has been tension in the state amidst fear that the fighting jet might have been captured by the insurgents in the northeast. This was confirmed in a release by the NAF Director of Public Relations and Information, Air Commodore Edward Gapquet. The release states that the details about the whereabouts of the jets were still sketchy. A NAF Alpha jet has lost contact with radar in Borneo State while on interdiction mission in support of ground troops. Details of the whereabouts of the air Craft or likely cause of contact loss are still sketchy but will be relayed to the general public as soon as they become clear. Meanwhile, search and rescue efforts are ongoing, he added. You know, these guys, they like to play hanky-panky with everything that they do. I wonder what is going on in this government. How can people go for a war? And yet, a jet, a jet went missing in the midst of that action, and nobody saw how it went missing. Nobody saw anything. There were no traces. In fact, there was no radar to even get through to those in that fighter jet. Who are we deceiving? What is going on right here? Even in the army, what is really happening? Because when we talk about the Boko Haram sect, it's not like, though they are, they are sophisticated and are very good in this, but at least... We have not seen them flying jets and very few of them would even have knowledge of flying the jets or perhaps let us even also think from the angle that the army is also infiltrated with some of these Boko Haram members that you, you might be so surprised that one of those jets might just be for the Boko Haram. And it might be filled with heavy ammunition that they would have taken to Boko Haram. And at the end of the day, they will, they, they will just act like they were captured by the Boko Haram sect. That is why I'm still wondering that how can a jet just go missing? Nobody saw it. So that means all the while, the jet was never a part of the crew. Because if it were to be, just when it went missing, they should have noticed especially in the midst of them having to fight with insurgents like the Boko Haram. They know how deadly these guys are. So if they really went for operation, it shouldn't even be a fighter jet. If it crashed or if it, if it, if it was shot down, they would have seen it. Everyone would have known that, oh, one down. You understand? One down and everyone would understand, oh, one of our jets have gone down or one of our jets were kind, was kind of captured by the insurgents. But unfortunately, there is no report of anyone's knowledge of where that jet is or what happened to it if the Boko Haram actually captured those in it or captured the jet 
or something else happened. Nobody has the knowledge. It is so funny that it is only in Nigeria that things like this happen and we all still just take it for, for likely and take it for granted like it is a normal thing. It is not normal for a fighter jet to go to war and just go missing. I believe fighter jets, when they, when they go for, for a fight like that, they move together. And even while they are up there, they have other soldiers on foot that are also monitoring what is going on up there. They are communicating. We are down here. We are in this area. And those up there are communicating that we are coming towards this area just like that. But how come those down were not aware and those up are not even aware? Or did they go fighting without uh, foot soldiers on ground that are looking at what all that are uh, uh, fighting Boko Haram down or are they all up in the air fighting those fights because I don't seem to understand what they meant you understand I don't know what they meant by saying that they went to fight Boko Haram you went to fight Boko Haram all of you are in the air it is very easy for these guys to shoot every of the jets down so when you go for a fight like that there should be soldiers who are down they're fighting as well so that they would not even be able to concentrate at the helicopters fighting up or the or the uh, uh, jets up there sh shooting down strikes but, but i'm so shocked that they said a whole jet with humans in it with ammunition in it went missing in a country like us at a time like this critical time for me, what is in my head, what is going on in my head is that this uh, fighter jet was never a part of the Nigerian army that went to fight those insurgents. This is just an infiltrated army that decided to load up that jet with a lot of heavy ammunition and have gone to park somewhere in the bush where the Boko Harams have asked him to come or is even a member. That is why I'm saying that even the Nigerian army should be looked critically well because a lot of these Boko Haram guys are right there in the Nigerian army. So even sometimes when they say they are going to fight, they will tell you some are dead, some are not dead, some are in the den of Boko Haram because they are Boko Haram. All they do is to take ammunition, um, acting like they are going for war. They drop it with their fellow members. They go there, act like they were captured and after some time they will be released. So it is not funny. How a whole private jet, a fighter jet, could go missing in the midst of action. Hmm. It is such a shame that all of this is happening in a country that was once recognized as the epicenter and the hope for other African countries. It has gone so bad that Nigeria is no longer the giant, but in fact, I don't know what to call them. But we hope that God restore peace to Nigeria. So, my dear people, drop your comment. Tell us what you think about this present situation of things in the country, especially the fighter jets that went missing in action. Thank you guys for being here. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.